Coming up on Crossfire Collectibles, the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 104, Agent Healy's. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video will be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified series, number 104, Agent Helix. So, part two of our Wave 16 uh, figure lineup that we have coming. And here she is. So, new in the box. I love the figure art. You got the uh, the SWAT van back there along with the police car. Looks like she's in a neighborhood outside of a residential neighborhood, maybe. Um, it's kind of cool. I don't see any Easter eggs in there. You got the artist render right here. A ton of weapons um i'm kind of excited about these especially them little uh, forearm swords so we're going to check those out flip over here so you can see 104 better shot of this uh side art here looks cool flip to the back you have a close-up of this little uh i guess monitor on her arm I'm not sure exactly what that is go down to the hand that looks like well not the hand but the wrist it looks like it could be a band-aid <laughs> i don't know band-aid or maybe it's a uh, like a uv tattoo so she can get into like some clearance buildings or something here's a more of her accessories the figure with the digital render stands at 5.9 inches get a close-up of the stats for you flip to the side the qr code gi joe upc and Let's go ahead and pop her open. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, trusty dusty. And slip. So I'm glad that they stuck to, I guess, the Rise of Cobra colors that she had. Um, she also had that in the comics. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, overall, looks like it's gonna be a fun figure. Kind of got a new head sculpt, although it does look like a Marvel Legend, but it is a G.I. Joe, so we're okay. So we'll go with the weapon second. Here's the figure in her cardboard dungeon. It's all jacked up. Let's go ahead and uh, get her cut out. One. Two. Three. And four. Falls right out. Get this mess out of here. Get the black and white shot of the artist render. Looks great. And let's go over the figure. Here she is. Gotta straighten them feet up. Yeah, also some reused parts, but she looks good. Uh, I like the hair. The hairstyle is pretty neat. Kind of almost looks like the used part of Zorana's right here. This eye is all new. Uh, the face, pretty sure it's all new. Let's go over her uh, articulation on her head. Ball joint, full 360, movable neck. Down that far. Up that far. She's got the flat joints at the shoulders. Arms go out that far. Actually, they can go up a bit, too. That's nice. You see, bicep rotation. Very tight. Double jointed. Pinless elbows. You see, go down to the hands. They rotate full 360. They are on a hinged peg. They can go down or up. Over to the chest. She's got some upper torso swivel, but not much ab crunch. It can go back a little bit. You see here her belt is a separate piece, fully around. A bunch of gadgets and gizmos, magazines. There's an opening right here for something. We'll figure that out. You see, is there any waste? Yes, slight waist swivel, not much. 
drop legs, thigh rotation. She has a pair of matching holsters on each thigh. Leg can go out that far. Go to the side that far. Not much at all right there. Ugh. Nope. And it cannot go back really at all either. A little bit. Pop that back up. Move on to the knees. Double jointed pinned knees. She's got these pretty wild looking shin guards. I like how the back's like that. It comes up just over the calf muscle. It's pretty cool. There is calf swivel at the top of the shin, very close to the knee. Moving down to the foot, can go forward that far, up that far, and side to side pivot. All right, she looks good. Articulation's nice. Check out the back. A hole in the back there. Let's uh, get her stance, drop test. And it's okay. Moving on to the accessories. Here's the box, Agent Helix, 104, G.I. Joe, 104. that open. Crap. Jojo Cobra bag. And this feels very light even though there's quite a few accessories in there. The whole box actually feels light so it's not much to her. She doesn't have a lot of mass. She is a shorter figure under six inches. Actually it looks like six six if not more than any of Got everything and let's go over her stuff so we'll start off first with this little uh back piece so i'm assuming this is going to be her sword sheath you have a little peg right here to plug into her back two holes for swords go straight through into the bottom all black there we go while we're at that we'll bring out the swords so here's one that's kind of neat. It's an all black blade, yellow handle. Pretty neat. And you do have two of them. Uh, the one seems a little more curved than the other. So if you were to put them side to side, you can see that maybe it's just the uh, how they came from the factory. Well, the ones that turned a little bit more than it should be. But I'm going to go ahead and um, slide these in. Put one right there and I'm gonna put the other right here like that next she has a small uh, headhunter I like to call him a headhunter but like a small machete you know crooked blade looks like on the end here you have a bit of a center punch or you know a sharper point with the heavy butt to probably hit something with uh, that's pretty cool it's almost a very dark gray color. Moving into the light gray for the blade. And the blade is definitely new. That's neat. I like it. It's a pretty, pretty cool design. I'm assuming this might probably go into her, her back belt area where the loop is. All right, next up, we'll move on to her pistols. So she does have a pair of them. And they kind of resemble the last ones that, you know, the older figures of Helix had. You, know, you have the uh, extended magazine coming out of the pistol. Um, you see, it does have a hole in the front for a blast effect. Magazines do not come out. There's a, looks like flashlights on it, or they could be red dots. I'm not sure. But there's a pair of them. Here they are. Cool. And last but not least, she has a pair of these new thingies. These, uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but they're like some kind of you know, cyber arm, arm attachments with uh, these blades attached. And they look pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and mess with them and see what we can figure out and how to put these on her. So let's bring the figure back over. Uh, looking at the box, it looks like her arm is up. And this is on her wrist. So we'll kind of slap that on right there. Put that part back. Whoops. 
on there again. Push that forward. So it's almost like she has these uh like gauntlet scythe things if you want to call them that. But that's pretty cool, man. It's um it's an interesting addition. You know, nice little upgrade of weapons, it's always good to have. So the left arm, she kinda she does have trigger fingers, but she could also be like motion you, you know, come here. But let me go ahead and gear her up. I'm going to take this headhunter and see if it actually fits right there. And yeah, it does. I'm not going to have it up towards her back because that's a little, a little odd. But we'll put it like right there so it's hanging a bit. Almost looks like she could be having a tail. You move it over to the side, but we know it's a blade. I'm going to get these uh, pistols, see how they fit into the holsters. So, pistol one. It snapped into. That's just kind of cool. Pistol two. Is that gonna snap in? Nope. But there they are. I'm actually gonna take one out and I'm gonna have her using it. So, I mean, I think Helix is probably more known for having the pistols, but we don't wanna just keep the blades on her. I wanna give her a little bit, you know, she'll be fully, uh, fully packed out and action packed, I guess. So, I don't know if she's going to be able to use this. Well, yeah, they will, because they can move to the side. So, I'm going to take the second one here. Bend that back before we put it on. Get out of there. And I'm going to put that second. Oh, let me get a close-up of this on her arm real quick. Is that, is that a Band-Aid? I think it's a Band-Aid. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's a neat little, uh, neat little, you know, addition that she has that kind of a mystery. It's okay. She can hold them. So while we have that, we'll go ahead and throw this sword sheet backpack on her. We'll plug that on in. And it fits nice and tight. There she is from the back. All the gear she can actually fit on her and hold, which is cool. And I'm, I'm actually going to take this uh, second pistol back out. And I'm going to have her dual wielding. Well, more like she's like quadruple wielding with the uh, the blades on her forearms. Get this push down. Hands are kind of small. So I'm having a little bit of issues here. But we'll get it. Get that down. I think the, the gun handle might be a little too big for her hands. But it'll fit. Mess with this just a little bit. Yeah, I think some blast effects would look pretty cool on her, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Get her aiming to shoot. Stand her up. See how she's gonna pose. We have to break the knees a little bit. And move them feet around because she seems like a little off balance. But we'll get it. Alright. Well, there we go. Alright. So pretty cool so far. Um, let's go ahead and throw her on the turntable and we'll give you some final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Now, back to G.I. Joe. All right, so here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 104, Agent Helix. Man, she's uh, she's pretty awesome. Um, I was kind of expecting the figure to be pretty pretty good, but it's, it's far beyond my expectations. I think she actually knocks it out the park. Um, the articulation is nice. It's a... Uh, I don't, I don't really have any complaints. The only issue is I think her hands are a bit too small, or if not the pistol, the, hand, the handles are a little too big. But apart from that, you know, all the gear fits on her. Um, I didn't try the swords in her hands, but I don't really plan on having her use the swords. I like them new, uh, them like them wrist blades. They're, they're whatever they are, them retractable freaking bionic 
something, whatever they were. They're neat. They're really cool. Um, the detail is pretty amazing, even though she has reused parts or some reused parts. Uh, it works. You know, simple repaints, but you know, it fits and I give one, we get an extra figure out of it. So couldn't be more happier. But overall, great figure. Love the quality. I couldn't couldn't say enough nice things about it. Kudos to Hasbro. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Uh, we have another coming up tomorrow, so be sure to stick around for that. Um, as far as this one goes, if you like the video, like always, please leave that giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you know to follow and post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.